Frig. So we did it. I think we did, we it. did it. We did, did it. We started on time. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we started right on time. Beer, plumbing, prank, and fan farts. Angel, <laughs> if you're watching, sorry, there's probably going to be a lot of farts and poops today. I mean, we we did our best to avoid it last week. Turns out uh, for nothing because you weren't watching. But um, I can't guarantee uh, this this is going to happen. But either way. Season three, episode four. I think it's the 120th time we've done this whole uh, tr uh, triple T thing. So that's pretty exciting. Pretty excited about it. Hopefully you guys are good. Uh, if you're listening or if you're watching, I guess, on my left over here on the screen, right, is Toby. They call me Toby too. Toby and Angel. What's up, dude? What up, dude? Underneath, below me, like in, in the decks below, if you're playing Seas of Thieves, You'll maybe see him. It's Richie. He's a, he's an animal out there. He's a baller. He buys boats for two hundred and fifty thousand. The next thing you know, allegedly, he's a millionaire again. <laughs> he's a fucking pirate. Hey, and then know how to get that booty. He knows all about that booty. <laughs> Last but not least, this guy's got even got his own book. And if you want to know where's you been whacking off, well, it's pretty easy. He's he's probably not going too far, allegedly, because he's on a scooter and he's got his own book. I feel like Vanna White right now. This is so how's fucking... it? How did it look? How's it? How did it turn out? How did it look, <laughs> dude? It's awesome. Like, look at look at the color. Oh yeah, like I got this oh, damn glare. Bro, that's but, great. But if you guys I'm... want one, send me your address and I'll send you guys each one. I'll buy one, dude. Like I just gotta wait till I got the. I'm just saying, I would like to. I, I can offer that. And uh, thanks to you know who dot to Eva bought one. I believe Elo bought one. Thank you, Hard man. to find them all, though. It is. No, it's awesome. I created this, and I can barely find them all. I don't know if it's a good thing. <laughs> there was maybe that, that got me too. I was like, "Holy shit, where's this thing at?" And I was like, "I did not anticipate like spending so much time on one fucking page." I'm like, "This is bullshit." <laughs> I was cussing your name. I was like, "Why do you make this so fucking difficult?" <laughs> yeah, it's like Eubin's like, "I know what I look like." <laughs> I know. This is and then more shit. I was convinced on one of them. I was like, that, no, that's, that's me. That's me. And then I found me. I go, holy fuck, that wasn't me. <laughs> I was like, shit, that motherfucker looks just like me. Yeah. See, here's the problem. Is Cuban's just now finding out how basic he looks. <laughs> very true. I am a very generic <laughs> motherfucker, 100%. So I'm the default uh, so icon this, on all the games. Anybody that's wondering what we're talking about, it's like it's 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 a new age adult version of potentially something that's like wears that you know guy that wears a striped shirt with white and red. There's a whole bunch of different scenes, and he's in there somewhere, and you got to find him or you don't find him either way. But it's a nice little book. Uh, I think it's ten dollars and sixty nine cents because we're perverts. If they're not, I definitely am. So ten dollars and sixty nine cents, and uh, it can be all yours. And it's about thirty pages, I think. I think I put in there thirty. Volume one. We'll um, we'll we'll do a volume two at some point, and it'll be fun. By the way, can't thank everybody enough for uh, for checking that out, checking the book out. We have some good ones. Before we get started, I want to kind of, I guess, self plug, self promo, and try not to fire Toby up at the same time. But Thursday, we're gonna do the best drafts voted on by you guys. So if you haven't voted in the in the, in the poll yet, I'm gonna put it in the chat on all the social platforms. You guys can go there and vote. Before we started the show, there was 43 votes. So I want to see what there is now. Because I did try to get some people to take a look at it. There's 46 votes. Movie villains are in a big lead, Toby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Big lead. 46% of the votes. Um, so if this holds true, we're going to give it to about mid-morning Thursday or tomorrow night. And uh, whatever one wins, that's what we're going to draft this week. Uh, second place, the only other one potentially with a chance is iconic video game characters. So there we go. If you guys want to vote. I'm, I'm good with either one, really. It's just like... The movie villain ones, I think we've all pretty much we're going to have like the same ideas because you're going to have to stay. You're going to have to stay pretty mainstream with those ones, because if you start knocking some stuff out that nobody's ever heard of, like. Yeah. Richie and Yubin, are there any movie villains that pop in your brain immediately that you would consider some of the most, um, you know, the best movie villains? Uh, fucking Drago <laughs> from Rocky Four. Well, I'm a Drago, yeah. Yep. Technically, yeah. Underrated. Well, any Underrated. of the Rocky, any of the Rocky opponents, except for I would say Apollo. I don't know. Yeah, because he, yeah, he turned you know partner and yeah, yeah. I had Drago on my list and Clubber Lang. Yeah, oh, see, there well, you, you go. gotta have you gotta have some Clubber Lang in there. Yep. What about you, Richie? You got any uh, any any movie villains that you uh, that you would throw on your list? Not that I'm doing this for research purposes or anything. Uh. <laughs> 
out of the movies, I, I like a lot of James Bond movies, but James Bond villains are pretty much predictable. But one of the ones I liked the most was out of the one of the new Daniel Craig movies. I forget it was the guy that I think he I think it might have been Skyfall. He could take like out half his jaw Ooh. because he had tried to cut, eat uh, cyanide and it didn't kill him. Oh, it destroyed half his mouth and he became a villain. He used to work for MI6 or whatever and became a villain. He, it was just because it wasn't Dr. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was, yeah, that was, I think they were putting their favorite, but, uh, oh, yeah. Hmm. Dr. Evil. <laughs> yep, Come Skyfall. You, Bomber. you crazy Dutch bastard. Bomber says yes, Skyfall. Yeah. Was, there we go. All right. So, uh, everybody wants to know, Eubin. What? No, it just, there's a bright ring light right here. So I'm like squinting oh. a little bit, but, and I got a scar in my eye. So it always looks like my eyes are red, but I okay. promise. I'm like, I'd say like a two two, maybe. Yeah, Not wearing a two two. Based on our conversations two-two. thus far, he's pretty low on the scale. See, it's just the eyes are deceiving half the time. Not a good. I like how you time. immediate. We're like, what? No, no, no. Red oh, lights, lights, stuff. Defensive. I had that excuse in my pocket for at least three minutes now. I was prepared. <laughs> not, to, not to mention the fact. I mean, anytime you blow him up on screen, he uh, has instant panic. Yeah. yeah, that is true. I it's do like, reach for the mouse and he, like <laughs> really kicks in. He's like, <laughs> I hear like the Pokemon attack theme going off in the background. I'm like grabbing my mouse and shit trying to exit. Fuck this. It's pretty funny. <coughs> All right. Well, I'm um, glad you guys are good. Let's uh let's get into some videos. So one of the ones this this was my viewer submitted video of the week because it's just epic. Um, I don't know if you guys ever went through a phase where you and your buddies pranked a whole bunch of people. I, I, I saw some pretty wild pranks in my day between a couple of buddies. I stayed out of it because they were getting very nasty. Uh, this one, this one's pretty wild, and I think it probably turned pretty expensive. So without further ado, let's show this one. This group of friends decided to prank their friend by filling the entire home plumbing with beer. The guy comes home, and as he tries to drink water, he is completely surprised as the beer comes out of everywhere instead of water. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) (laughs) This certainly was a prank not many would have an issue with. Just amazing friends. I like those friends. Yeah, those are some of the best friends. His (laughs) girlfriend or wife was, she wasn't having it though. No. She she was like, uh uh, no. Well, I'm just trying to think. So, not only, you know, potential having to replace faucets, they'll probably be okay, but potential showers, you know what I mean? Tub drains, if that gets into the washing machine, dishwasher, (laughs) or moonshine. Moonshine will clean all them pipes out. Yeah, including your own, allegedly. <laughs> make, it, make it look. Hey, just use just use fucking white lightning, man. You won't be able to tell the differences by looking at white it. White lightning. Could you imagine the amount of time and effort that it took for those guys to hook the kegs up into the plumbing, and then r- have enough to run it through? And they set up cameras. Yeah, the real question is: is which one of them has the plumbing knowledge to know? Because that's not just like everyday Joe is going to be able to crawl underneath your house and know exactly what to hook up and where to hook it up. And yeah, it's got to, you know, and then figure out, you know, make sure the pump is going to push it. The pressure. Yeah. I mean, so, so this is, so this is what I was, I'm kind of glad this is what he does for a living as well. And and a lot of the coworkers, I'm curious. I mean, that obviously had to happen at some point, but I mean, there's a lot of logistics behind it to be able to get that. They had to have gone for like the weekend or like on a vacation or something. I mean, they only showed real brief, I believe, at the beginning, the actual hooking of it up. This group of friends decided to prank their friend by filling the entire home. It's a lot of kegs. Plumbing with beef. And then they just show. It's all in the attic, it looks like. Attic or basement. Here. It looks more like. But yeah, that's More all. Attic-y. Huh. Interesting. Apparently, they want one of us to cut the cheese on the podcast. I don't. I don't have a brick of cheese anywhere near me. Do you guys? No, uh, but I'm wondering cheese. if that was just filmed in like Flint, Michigan, and they would just act like they did that, and they just drank basic tap water. That seemed. I'm. I'm not good with accents. I mean, I mean but it seemed British. You know, 
Did you guys pick up on an accent? It seemed UK. It seems somewhere. It seems somewhere in Europe for sure. Yep. It was definitely in Detroit, England. Like that was Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, that's definitely not a thing, but it'd be cool. It should be. It should be. Yes. Yeah, that would be a good thing. Yeah, if you use the white lightning, don't strike a match anywhere for a few days. So uh, just like if you have like some really bad gas, that could be like cutting the cheese. That could be like that. Check this out. This is. I'm going to fart in front of the fan and I'm going to hit him from here. So the real question is, do you think it was real or do you think it was pre-set up? Pre-set up. Pre-set up. I'm thinking pre-set up, but I have to imagine that has happened at some point for the idea to set it up. Because I have I have known some areas to be like pretty bad as far as stench goes based on the things that people tell me because I don't know. But I've never seen somebody like immediately react like that to a smell outside of strumming. That's it. It's the only time I've ever seen anybody go like, and it's more of like a, they're trying to hold back like actual vomit. It's not that they just smell. Oh, geez. And they just keep going. I'm like, dude, move it away from your face. They're like, you smell it. I'm like, yeah, it smells fine. They're like, how do you, <laughs> Dude, sorry. Speaking of that, this is the perfect segue to something just not smelling right and potentially just maybe moving away from it. And uh, this this had me laughing pretty good. So today I'm going to prank one of my clients who's also one of my good friends. Um, my plan is because I'm tattooing the side of his neck, um, his head is going to be laying here and it's going to be relatively close to my crotch. So my plan is to grab a can of tuna, place oh. it in my crotch, and when he's about to get tattooed, he's going to think that essentially I smell really, really bad down there. <laughs> he's also one of my favorite clients because when I'm tattooing him and it hurts, he'll like call out mommy, call out daddy, and he'll like moan here and tell him that I'm just recording a time lapse because we've done it before. So he knows it's a normal thing. But I also want to place my iPad somewhere over here strategically and flip around. Do with Skipping through a little bit. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. Spicy Thai chili. I wanted regular, but this is even better. <laughs> so is she the tattooer? No. Just yeah, she's the tattoo artist. Are you going to be okay with oh. this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 have i eaten anything yeah no like maybe before work i had a bagel <laughs> unless you want to buy food for us it smells just a little funky <laughs> like <laughs> egg salad sandwich or <laughs> egg salad some, sandwich some seafood of some sort <laughs> we take we took that out of our garbage I'm just like smelling it like maybe some other in the garbage no Okay, I don't mean to be rude, but like, I'm smelling it more potently now. Is it? Oh my god! I think. What do you say? Uh, no, there's no food. I don't know how to tell you this, but this area is a little bit more potent with a fish smell. Are you saying my vagina smells? A little bit. Uh, yeah, it's getting strong. Lynn! <laughs> You're fucking kidding. And I don't want to offend you, but your junk kind of smells. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, though, this is this is a good friend here. This is a good friend. <laughs> this is a good friend, though, to be willing <laughs> to tell her. Be like, hey, I'm just letting you know. Yeah, I mean, what an asshole friend if you just sat there, got a tattoo, and was like, wow, that. That's a that just stinks. Jeez. I mean, Spicy. the other thing that you'd have to wonder if they didn't say anything is you're like, what kind of women has this guy been with? <laughs> Where it's not affecting him. Or better yet, he gets him goes, 
So uh, what are you doing Saturday? <laughs> or like one of those videos, you know, where that's like the friend makes the move. If that's what makes him make the move. <laughs> oh god. Like so, meat fish buffet to ask you out for a while now. Um, I love seafood. <laughs> you, want, you want to go to Long John Silver's tomorrow? How'd you know? I'm Maybe you can captain these. No. Okay, I know that we've asked this question before, but I saw so many comments. Um, I I just need to help dispel this rumor. Like in all seriousness, out of the four of us, has anybody had a serious problem after eating Taco Bell on a, on a regular basis? Like you just toilet explodes? Any of that? Because it's never happened with me. Uh, that doesn't do it to me as much as other foods, but I have IBS, so it doesn't really I'm matter what food I eat. <laughs> same. Yeah. I'm it's... the same as Richie, IBS. So anything I eat, like especially the first thing that I eat, especially now that I intermittent fast, doesn't matter. That first one is like I got 10 minutes, and it's mm -hmm. pretty brutal. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I get what you're saying. No, it's not like I eat Taco Bell. I'm going to I'm gonna tell you this. I think we've talked about it before. Taco Bell years ago when I would eat it at a mall, and it was pretty sketchy mall, mm. and I, allegedly the quality wasn't as good back then. My stomach wasn't feeling so good, and I was undiagnosed IBS to add into it. But lately, I mean, we I eat Taco Bell probably once a week. I don't have I don't have any issues. I think maybe maybe when we were all younger and the food standards were a little less, I could. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I I don't know. Maybe I just have an iron gut because I I don't you really deal with it. But Chinese oh, Chinese like. Chinese buffet. I'll eat a plate and I'll look at the wife and be like, I'll be right back. And then I'll have another plate because it's that stuff is passed through food. And then an hour later, you're hungry again. That's what I was just going to say. I'm always hungry yep. an hour later. That's the MSG. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Madison Square Garden. Hey, perfect segue. <laughs> Chinese food. Boom. <laughs> If you own a kebab shop or a Chinese restaurant and want to have lots of business, stop doing renovations to make it look better. Because if I see a kebab store with a sign that looks like it was made in Microsoft Word, I'm going in there. The pictures of the food on the wall can be out of focus. They can still have the watermark on it. I don't care. I will still pick that place over the kebab store across the road with nice tiling and no mold. Because it looks clean, but you know it's going to be shit. And you know it's a good kebab shop if every drunk white girl that walks in somehow knows the owner's name. I got Albert. Come here, you fucking king. If I hear that, I know the food's f***ing delicious. And to all the Chinese restaurants out there, enough with this shit of asking me, what do I want? Look at me! You know what I want! Yes, I want sweet and sour pork and keep it coming! And if I see someone who is clearly under the age of 14 working at one of these establishments, I'm going to order more food because I know that kid makes a mean Mongolian beef. Is that an offensive thing to say? Maybe. But you all know that I'm right. I want to walk into a kebab store or a Chinese restaurant and see that the menu is the worst laminating job you've ever seen in your life. And look, I don't know if this is just an Australian thing, but for me, anytime I see a kebab store or a Chinese restaurant, the dodgier it looks, the better it always is. Again, this might be offensive, but I'm not wrong. And that's what matters. My favorite Chinese buffet that I've ever been to is looks like the sketchiest building on the face of the planet. Next and to a bowling alley, down, and I'm so upset about it, oh, man. But is he right though? You guys agree the kind of dingier, not as a nice million percent, a million percent. Now I got to ask you guys: Do you enjoy the kind of Chinese restaurants that are like the buffet style, where you can still go in and get something to go, or the ones, and maybe you don't have them in the area, or the ones where like they cook it fresh for you to, to go, or do you have both I options? Don't... Either I'm a, I'm a sucker oh for Chinese food in general. I really like I, I like Chinese buffets. Um, I've never I've never had kebab. Me neither. Same. Same. Yeah, I've I, had uh, it. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Like for here, we have uh, we have two places within 20 minutes or so that they they'll make it for you order, and it's always like yeah, come back in 20, pay cash. Don't start cooking until you pay the cash. Cool with it. And then the, the one that's the buffet style always gets shut down for a little while for putting food back off the plates into it. And I'm just like, oh. can't do it. Just can't do it. But it's always yeah. so nice when she comes in. She's like, do you want some more pessy? And I was like, yes, I would like some more pessy. Thank you. I, I would like. <laughs> I would love it. She comes over with Joe Pesci. Hey, what am I doing? <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. Shit. Wrong one. Wrong one. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. 
What else we got? We got all, all sorts of good ones here. I don't even know where to go for that one. Let's go. We're talking Chinese food. Let's go with a hibachi challenge. I know they're not the same, but Scotch at all. Chain, laminated menu. You know, like hibachi? Hibachi dog. <laughs> Why did he put it back in the container? I don't know. Why did he bring it? <laughs> I mean, why would you ruin hibachi with hot dogs? I don't know. I was just going to say, does any, do either of you have enough balls to bring a pack of hot dogs and see, throw it on there and see if they'll cook it? Listen, I ain't whipping my weenie out in public, especially not in front of a guy who clearly can handle kitchen utensils. <laughs> just... <laughs> like, what do you say whenever you put it on there? You just go, whoops. Like, what do you <laughs> just like? I actually dropped this hot dog on your fucking grill here. My bad. <laughs> what do you say? Just cook it up for me, big dog. That's, I don't know. I would say, no, I do not have the cojones to do it. I don't. I have no desire to. Mine wouldn't reach from the counter anyway. <laughs> <laughs> They'll cook Vienna sausages. It's okay. As long as I'll it'll long it'll it. assume it's even that large, my friend. <laughs> um, speaking of large, this is a meal that is pretty large. If you're eating breakfast right now, you might want to give that a little bit of a pause. What I'm going to show you might cause you to lose your appetite. This is a bull penis that's eaten in China. What you do is you cut open, first you boil it, uh, blanch it and boil it to remove the outer membrane, kind of like a condom. Uh, and then you cut it down to your urethra so you can wash away all of the urine. And then you Very boil well. it into a delicious soup. My favorite is actually not that, but rather bull penis chips. If you boil it for about an hour in some nice broth, cut it very thinly and then deep fry it, you get nice bull penis chips. Believe it or not, this is only about one third of a bull penis. You can see the, the head of the penis right over here. We have exposed the head and it actually tastes pretty good if you make it into chips. Okay. No, no. You don't no. want to make it into chips? Uh, if I had a choice between that and the hot dog, I'm going the hot dog a hundred <laughs> out of a hundred times. No I'm questions just asked. I'm worried if that catches on, like somebody, that, that video is viral enough to where people are like, oh, I want penis, bull penis chips. Uh, Lays is going to come out with their freaking flavor shit again and be like, penis flavored chips. Full penis flavored chips? Full <laughs> penis flavored chips. Back in the one partner, third. partner up a Red Bull <laughs> <laughs> with Red Bull, <laughs> Red Bull f penis flavored chips. I mean, that's a third of it. And that guy's knowledge, though. I mean, he did he did a good job. He, he knows how to get the urine out. He knows how to make them in the ships. Well, and I mean, I would a, try it. I would I would try it as long no. as somebody knew what they were doing, so you didn't get sick. I mean, boil, clean the urine out of it. Boil I mean, again, I've I had, guess. I've had sheep testicles. I mean, what's the... what would you cook it with? Like, obviously, pickle flavor. I, would you just do salt and pepper? SP is the only bull penis for me. I mean, <laughs> I don't see. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, that's just no, no. <laughs> There's nothing of <laughs> SP in the world. There, no, <laughs> you can throw as much Lowry's on that as you want, bro. I ain't touching it. Nice. Ain't enough nacho cheese to salvage that at all, bro. <laughs> Never. Just Full takis. Just, great, just just cook it up Full and then grate it over the top of your nachos. Yeah, you grind it up, put know. it in a burger. What if what if you had it and nobody told you what it was that you were eating and you didn't know? Uh, it's how serial killer. I mean, that's like an evil origin story right there. Like, what happened to him? Somebody fed him fucking bull penis without his Chips. consent. <laughs> Chips. chips chips so the i mean and would you want to hang out with a guy that had that much knowledge about that he was sitting there just talking to you like yeah you just clean out the urethra and you just 
just give her the old squeeze and tug. And he's just sitting there talking to you as if that's fucking normal each time. There's no way. That guy's a serial killer. That's a Dexter too. I'm, I ain't fucking with it. <laughs> that's Dexter too. Yubin, are you going to be all right? I feel like Yubin's been affected by this than more than anybody else in the in the group or the chat like there's i'm just there's no convincing me i mean it'd have to be a steep money amount to fuck with that i gotta I mean, did you see his face once the video came out i mean it was a clear i didn't know if he was like put it in my mouth or if he was in shock oh see and that's what i was thinking i thought yubin was like right here buddy okay so no. copper john's dog loves bully sticks and they are bull's penis mm -hmm. I'm a cat person. See, just <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Huh. God, you've been tapping out quick. That's uh, you know what? This one I'll gladly uh, I will push it's out. Hard to touch it. You have to touch it. Okay. And I don't. Even, I don't even want to tell you how I've won a couple of games of. Uh, I, I know this isn't politically politically correct, but oh, I don't want to tell you how many times I've won uh, the game of gay chicken. And how I've won that game, but no, Jesus I'm Christ, I can't wait for sleepovers at your house. <laughs> boiled, cooked bull's penis. Yeah, I've had way rawer than that. I'm just saying. Jesus. Okay, so the next meetup, um, we'll start planning that. I mean, do you guys ever do one uh, in late January? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard no. We also play fire truck. Oh yeah, but well, they don't stop at red lights, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This video was sent like four times, so I got to play it. That is not a toilet roll holder. I... Show me the life hack that you randomly <laughs> saw one day that is now an unconscious standard practice in your life. I just love that they start off by throwing it. Like, it's just... <clears throat> that happens <laughs> when like, you've been practicing darts. He's just got... He's just... <laughs> Oh my god, that would be beautiful. That is that was nice. I so like the vibrating one, would it just self-feed you the paper? Like would it just <laughs> just roll it? I mean I mean, at least they put the toilet paper on the right way, right? Yeah, and some of them glow in the dark, so you don't need to turn the light. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Do you have an over or under if it's pointing if it's facing I guess you would say toward or away from you at that point. If it's sideways. Mm. Mm. If it's sideways, technically, aren't they both over? It just depends upon which side you're looking at it from. But if it's like one of the ones that's like, like against the wall, that's definitely an over or under. Oh, interesting. Oh, shit, you've been like, God damn it. Don't make me think like this right now. You always no, have got PTSD from a... Oh. Uh, a Texas gas station. What? <laughs> joking. <laughs> joking. <laughs> I said I have PTSD from a Texas gas station. Indicating that was Glory Hall. Never mind. That was <laughs> this video, speaking of blowing his mind, it was sent in. This will blow Yubin's mind. So probably only play. if he's super high. And he's still pretty low right now. Oh, I love this one. Oh my god, somebody punched that child. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I loved it until that kid just went and shut yeah, the fuck like, up. God. Humans like, shut up, I'm trying to enjoy the game. No, I was I was I once I figured out what it was, I was like, this is beautiful. And then I was like, okay, he's kind of annoyed. Jesus, cheese, punch that child. Oh my god. Oh, but that is an awesome. That was pretty cool. That, was a good job. that wasn't the uh, reaction I was hoping for, but uh, <laughs> that was the reaction we all needed. So uh, this one also yeah. said, um, let's see how high you've been is for this one. Fuck. Hush, what are you eating? A sandwich. A sandwich. Hush. That's, what, what's in that sandwich? The bread sandwich. A bread sandwich? What's a bread sandwich, Hush? When you put a slice of bread between two other slices of bread, and you got a sandwich with bread in it. 
Never, never, <laughs> no. Now, have I had a sandwich that was just mayonnaise and mustard because I forgot to put the fucking lunch meat and the cheese on it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I lunch have, and honestly, sitting on the corner, Eubens just, hmm, dude. I, all I could think about was like, God damn, I put a lot of mayonnaise and mustard on this fucking sandwich. <laughs> just... You ever tried the sugar sandwich? Oh yeah. No. What is that? We had Richie do that for one of our one of our collab videos. What's He's funny? Like, we thought, we were before, saying it as a it all over. We were saying it as a joke, like a sugar sandwich, a sugar sandwich. For my character, who's, you know, a freaking idiot on the thing, which he would eat a sugar sandwich. And we're laughing about it. And Dan's like, I ate sugar sandwiches growing up. Or like, oh, damn, I thought I was poor growing up. Shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he helps the homeless. He feels bad. Yeah, he's been so, there. so what you're saying is <laughs> you're just eating a stack of bread. <laughs> I know. I never tried it. Now I kind of want to, though. Uh, yeah, I've never tried a sugar one. Um, it tastes like bread want. and sugar. That's yeah. it. <laughs> so Richie's sitting there eating it, and you're watching like the sugar like pour all over his chest as he's trying to eat it. Oh, I literally put a, a thing down, like yeah. a towel or something down to make sure, because I knew it was going to go everywhere. <laughs> and I had to talk with it, and because it's sugar and bread, your mouth becomes super dry for some reason. You would think the sweetness of the sugar would make your mouth water. No, nope. it doesn't. <laughs> so you're like, because <laughs> I have lines and stuff, and I'm eating this thing, and I'm. <laughs> you could tell too. It was like it was hurting him. He's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Look at he. He loves sugar sandwiches, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit all right so so you've been it's unfortunate i guess that you're a, you're a cat person because if you were to ever get a dog i feel like this is what you would name your dog daddy that's a cute little dog you got there did you just get her yeah what do you name her her name is stains stains, yeah, stains. why why would you name her that because she's brown she nice yeah we'll put her down Come stains. Come stains. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> the that moment it hit, that Toby was, was I, like, yep, there it is. I'm changing Shiloh's <laughs> name to come. I mean, to stains. <laughs> come, come. Come, come. Come, come. <laughs> I have a uh, a buddy that he named his dog in high school uh, Gooch, <laughs> so his mom had no idea what that was, and so she's always like, "Come here, Gooch, come here!" And so every time I'm always around, she's like, "That's my pretty Gooch, that's my pretty Gooch." <laughs> Just, oh, it, no. And so, like after like ten years, like he finally told her, he's like, "You know what a Gooch is?" And she's like, "How dare you?" She was so pissed. <sighs> I mean, I could, I oh, that's. That's a pretty good one. Oh, where do we go from here? Let's go. I know this one. You don't have any Gooch videos, do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, with those ears, you know it hurt it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a good push, though, right? Oh, yeah. Dog was not, uh, not overly impressed with that. And, uh, so I was waiting to wait you know, see if there was any sirens or anything so we can make a, oh, that's just the meth heads running around Richie's place. But uh, it's, been a while, cold it? it's been a while, so I'm going to play this video, and I figured, you know what? It's too cold for them to be out right now. <sighs> Fair enough. They're Fair out enough. in the daytime. But I have a solution. You know, uh, I'm assuming they steal Cadillac converters and stuff like that. So Oh, yeah, or cars. They stole one and <laughs> came in our parking lot yesterday and did a drug deal. It was fun. Oh, oh that's <laughs> nice. Interesting. Well, have you ever seen this to prevent it? Hell. Oh. Not today, boy. Not today. Oh, oh god damn. Oh. These are wired. Oh. God damn. Fucking <laughs> good luck. Fucking assholes. Good fucking 
This guy says, not today! <laughs> not today, boy! Good that is God. So the question is, do you think that that's something they found underneath a guy's car that brought it in to get, like, an oil change? And they're like, look at this. Look, look at this. I'd have to yeah, imagine. I mean, that's going to stop them, right? Or do you think they're going to they're going to go for it? I mean, he, they're they're determined yeah. people. They are determined yeah. people. <laughs> that Mick Foley's no, car. car. No, that was mankind's. <laughs> oh, well played. Touche. Mm -hmm. Man. All right. This one said, please show Toby. They said, please. That is a happy pig. That is a happy pig. That was a pretty happy pig. Look cold there. That Corvette probably wishes it sounded that good. Yeah, I was gonna say that's that's more like a that's more like a sound like a cammed out old school yeah. carbureted vehicle. No, it was applewood smoked bacon for sure. <laughs> Although I gotta delicious. say, man, those, those new Corvettes, dude, I, I just they are sexy. They God damn. My dad's like, they look more like Ferraris now. I don't like them. I'm like, that's the point, dumbass. I'd be like, that's exactly why I'm liking them. <laughs> Except it's not a five hundred thousand dollar car. It's only a yeah. hundred and something thousand. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. How's your car? I don't want to talk about it. They're doing the best they can. Let's get something to eat. Good. I'm hungry. We're gonna go to a topless bar. What? What do you got against the topless bar, Mom? Say something! Christine, I'm 81 fucking years old. My dick came down to the floor. Yours are like gigantic. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> I wasn't talking about you and me being topless. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to topless bar? No, now if it was a bottomless men's bar. <laughs> well, what if his 81 year old self shit was hanging on the ground? Let's <laughs> fucking go. She, she just she just flips her off. She's like, ah, that's hey, enough of you. Texas Roadhouse used to let you throw nuts on the floor. So, <laughs> yes, but they still did. Oh, yeah. They, they? they, got, they won their yeah. suit. They're like, you fucking know we do it. You're allergic yeah. to peanuts. Don't fucking come here. It's been a minute yep. since I've been in there, I guess. Duh. <laughs> like, don't ruin it for everybody fuck else. Fuck, it's been a minute. Damn. Oh, the Mexican Americans okay. in my neighborhood would go for it anyway. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Is that what they're called? I don't remember <laughs> that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> she straight up sidekicked that one at him. Yeah. That sounds like a dog. Extremely durable. <laughs> really? <laughs> what does this woman eat? You want a cup of cheese? <laughs> you want oh, a cup of cheese? Oh. Sarah McLaughlin is over here just foaming out the mouth again. She can't. <laughs> I swear to God, <laughs> the ASPCA, whatever the fuck it's called, is just. I have to get my guitar out again for twenty five cents a day. You can save cats from needlessly it being. Would have been so much better if that cup of cheese gassed. would have been standard cat. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those were those were some good pushes. I, I love a good. Uh, farts are funny. Did you, did you see her laughing? She's having a good time. Farts are funny. I think her whole account was that's what she does. And I think she has a spicy page. That the side is... one has got to be the best. Where she's farting on cakes. Oh, yeah. You know, that's yeah. a fetish, right? Like That's what I'm saying. She makes... I don't kink shame. I wish... Is there a market for anybody looking for me to fart on a cake? Because I will do so for... I promise you there is. I promise you there is. $10 a month. <laughs> wow. Okay. There we go. One cup of cheese my cat twice a day. 
<laughs> yes. Poor Steve. I, let's see how. You, yeah, poor I Steve. Feel like, I feel Angel viewing this in the other room right now, just like. It's always about. Hey, every, you guys, look at Angel. I know you're watching. I want you to stare right at. Look at. I don't pick these videos. Toby doesn't pick these videos. Richie doesn't pick those videos, and Yubin doesn't. It's our wonderful viewers. And if they awesome. send them, we got to play them. Or you know what I'm saying? So, hey. And fuck them animals. Everything's a fetish nowadays, which is why my favorite fetish. I was today. People with uh, peanut allergies. That's my fetish. Watching people with peanut allergies kind of suffer. It's just, it's, I, get, I get hard off of it. Because they <laughs> fucking exist when I was a kid. Yeah. Me neither. No. Sorry. Had to get that out. Hey, better out than in, they say. <laughs> All right. Let's see how you've been really feeling. Yeah, years old when I found this out. Remove the dead batteries from your remote. Fill with rice, but make sure it's basmati rice. Get ready to have your mind blown. Bullshit. Bullshit. The remote won't work. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, if that so, TV turns on, that's just somebody next to him with a remote going, right? Well, see. This was the, or was there not a point to that video? Out. Was that just kind of it? Just like, that was it. That was it. We're going to make it yeah, look like we're giving you a live yeah, hack, but... No, yeah, to make you watch the video in its entirety. They just, yeah, uh, I did see that before, and at first I go, no fucking way, that's so stupid. When they got me, I go, why the fuck did I waste my time? So <laughs> it did, it did, it got me partially, and I was, I was deeply upset about that. If yeah, none, of, if any of these next three four videos don't get you laughing, you're just not high enough on the scale. Damn, I'm going Damn. hard for this one. And one of the most primeval sounds on earth is the mating bellow of a male alligator. The voice of a past so remote that man plays no part in its memory. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> got him. so stupid. <laughs> I knew it was coming the whole time. I was like, this is going to be an oh, yeah thing. Yep, and you've been just kind of leaned into it and leaned yeah. into it. Yeah, yeah. Now you got it. Now you got to do it. You've been. You got to give us your oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! It sounded almost identical. Did it not? It's not, it's not bad. Yeah, it's that almost bad. sounded just like Khaleesi. <laughs> I was like, Wait, what? <laughs> How often do you do those on a daily basis? Roughly. Oh practice? shit! People love me at work. It's a good time. <laughs> 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 like, deal, deal, deal. Hiya. especially now that i'm on this stupid fucking mobility scooter <laughs> like, i'm just like i they put a bell on it so i just go to the uh, or if they answer the phone i'm like uh, yeah. and they're just like quit doing that you're so fucking weird <laughs> yeah. uh, all you gotta do is be like yeah well do you have a book because i do you even you oh, would yeah. be the dairy of our letter kenny and be like wish you weren't so fucking awkward bud <laughs> Like, like, even if I bend over to pick up something at Sam's Club, like if it will be in our work attire, it just it says where we work and everything. There's been I'm like, ah, yeah, and like right in front of a whole bunch of people, and they go, "Fucking stop!" And they'll, they'll they'll pace and walk a different way. I'm like, "Where are you going?" I'm like, "God!" Like, they get pissed. I'm a hoot. I mean, it's a good time. Fuck them. <laughs> I'd like to work with you. I think it would be fun. It's they pay me way too fucking well to do as little as I do. <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> no, I hope they don't watch this shit. I, I Probably really hard. He he's the hardest worker that you've ever seen in that position. That yells, "Oh yeah!" All right. Well, we got him on the first one. I'm hoping this one this one gets you as well. This one got me. Oh yes. Easy. Oh. He's contemplating. He's oh, like, oh, he's gonna. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. He's gonna make it. Gonna make it. Oh. 
<laughs> you tell me that. The drive, bro. That's an ice skating rink. Yeah, I'll oh. tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> what? Good luck getting back in the house. I have a, I have a very good follow up video. Uh, that I, it's just okay. So I'm on this stupid scooter thing, right? It just snowed. This is last week. I've, I've been fucking just booking it on this thing. Kind of impressive. I'm like, I'm like, I don't even need this other leg. I just want this scooter for the rest of my life. I've been, I can get everywhere much faster. Well, I went outside and I hit a sidewalk crack with some rock salt in it and I fucking ate shit so hard. And it was on our security camera and they sent me the photo because I was like, I wonder if anybody saw it. And I tried to get up real quick and like go. And as soon as I called them, they were uh, hyperventilating and they go, oh yeah, we've watched it four times since you've left. And I'm like, what? <laughs> So if you guys want, I can. Yes, send it. You don't have to finish that sentence. Send it over. Okay, let me save this bad boy. Okay, uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna send it to your Instagram. So I think that's the only way that I can yep. actually send it to you. What you have a video of it? Yeah, they sent me the security footage of uh of me just eating shit. Oh my god, hold on, I gotta go to the bathroom before he does this. You know, what? go ahead and play a video. I'll go ahead and see if I can get this thing to fucking save because right now it's not doing it. Damn. Okay. Screen record here. Yeah. All right, so while we're doing that, let's see here. Um, let's go with the good roommate. Hey Ben, hey, come beat this meat for me while I do these dishes, man. Oh, yeah. I missed the whole thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's, I, thought, I thought that this is for my, my skin's bad, bro. It's just. I don't think he had any idea how to use that meat beater. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it, it's it's sending. I had to connect or disconnect from the shitty Wi-Fi for me to be able to download it, but it's okay. uh it, it's going through. Okay. Fair enough. Um this was sent in. We'll play this. Oh man, this has to be probably like my favorite part of the day. Get some Netflix going. Just relax. I fucking can't stand those goddamn videos. I don't know what, when they rip the jeans. The oh, the socks. ones that, that you remember when we were talking about like, hey, I know what one to do. Vote on the best TikTok trend. I'm like, that's impossible because they all suck. The one where everybody was going, hey, do you got a napkin? Oh, hold on, bro. And oh. they like, pretty shirt. I'm like. <sighs> Some of those people were small too, so they were getting fucking like yanked and hitting from like the ceiling and the wall and shit. I'm like, I guys can cast look like two up. Oh, here we go, forever. ladies and gentlemen. The TikTok trends are kind of hit or miss. Oh, uh, I see what you did. Oh, Toby gave you that look. Uh, this is gonna this is gonna fix you, Toby. This is Eubin on a scooter eating shit. Oh uh, yes. <laughs> that like that whole like just <laughs> not a single one of them came outside to see if I was okay. I was like, all right, you motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. yeah, watch the leg kick. Watch that leg swing out. I need the scorpion. Just <laughs> <laughs> the best is he just lays there for a second. <laughs> He's like well, nobody. No, what's running through your brain <laughs> as you're sprawled out, wiped out? What's the first thing that went through your mind? So you can't see, but off camera, there's people fucking putting their suitcases in their car underneath, like the. They call it the porkashir or whatever the little porkashir. Yeah, and so they're putting their suitcases in their car and stuff. And that guy just sees me eat shit, and I'm just like, I'm good. And I'm like, fuck me, like really? <laughs> and 
I had can't... to happen with an audience. And it's a whole bunch of glass windows because it's like right by the lobby. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if they saw that. And then I waited until I got into my car when I called them. And that's when they informed me that, yes, they did yes, see that. Did. And I was like, none of you guys saw me that, you know, or came outside to see if I was okay. They're like, we saw you laughing and you like shaked it off to that one guy. So we figured you were all right. I was like, fuck. You mean you're I, the only person outside of my business that has ever called it a porta cashier. That is so weird hearing that. I know is that the that's tripping the, out by hearing that? Because that's an architectural term for uh, where you pull up to unload, like at a hotel or anything. That's yes. the porta cashier. Yes. So, but what I that was correct, right? I didn't that know what is, that was until I started being an architect. So, I didn't. They were trying to say porta shitter. No, it's because like it's I never French know. man porta cashier stands for drive up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because everyone always asked me like, "What the fuck is?" That? I was like, "The big awning thing over the fucking you park under." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Puerto Rico. There's your word of the day, folks. You're welcome. Jeez, Brought to you by me. You can impress your friends when you go to your next hotel. Pull up to the Puerto Rico. Yeah, <laughs> and they can say, "Who who told you that?" You've been in oh, Michigan. Yeah, who the fuck like, are those guys? Puerto shit are anywhere around here. Like, <laughs> I'm too far in the south to be asking that shit. <laughs> So this video was sent in by a viewer of a real ring experience that happened to them. Not funny. Got it. Doesn't have a porta shitter. Doesn't have <laughs> porta coochie. None of that. All right, let's do the video. Quality isn't overly good, but this is right from a ring sent in by a viewer. Just for one package, lady. One package. Maybe come way to the front door. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. We could save your energy where you didn't have to carry more than one. <laughs> Not a very good look for the FedEx. I mean, um, what? Yeah, what's you the make me do my what's job. Like, like, isn't his job to deliver packages? Like, yep. for one package, you made me walk all the way to your door. Where? How else do you normally deliver it? Right. And then slam it down. Yeah. Boom. Oh, I would have been pissed. Just like I believe. I hope his Amazon package comes in broken. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Not cool. Justice. <laughs> Justice. Justice. <laughs> you want some of what he's having? No. I, I got to play this one. Sorry, Angel. And it does involve poop. But this one, I just have to do it. What's been the worst part of your year so far? I'd probably have to say I've only pooped like three times this year so far. What? It's been like three weeks. All right, last year I kept track of all my poops no, and like terrible. my notes app, and I pooped 64 times all like just last year. I feel like that's like shockingly loud. <laughs> yeah, you know, wait. I'll show that you. Is, my this is I, like, I saw other the, people do this on TikTok, the and there was this one dude, and he had like around like 60 poops in like a month. So he was like matching my year record in just <laughs> one month. Also in January, he pooped seven times, and then everyone, everyone in the comments was like, "Oh my god, what happened in January?" Because he pooped usually 60 times a month. I was embarrassed because seven. Was was my high for a month so everyone was like oh what's going on with january but that's a high for me all right so i pooped five times in january and it clogged five times so it was a hundred percent clog rate so yeah when you yes is it like really hefty because you only do it every once yeah. in a while yeah i like lose a couple pounds <laughs> i'm pretty sure i've shit 64 times already this year i mean honestly 24 days in definite possibility was I mean, nothing but cheese or something. I was gonna like, say, like, that's all solid cheese or peanut butter. Like, it's one or the other, man. I, I don't, I don't know how like, that's possible. Diet Somebody give that man it. some fiber or some shit. I mean, that people poor butthole. Brand muffins. Fucking... Jesus Christ! I, I wouldn't want to do it again for another seven oh. days if it hurt that fucking bad. Jesus here, Christ! Here they come. Well, yeah. Bro, that's like that's like I was I was out in the field for like you know a month kind of shitting. MREs, man. MREs will Yep. Woo! There it is. Big mo fire trip. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's I couldn't imagine shitting seven times in one month. That's that is, I've done that in a day, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I definitely yeah. a couple times. Well, I mean, anybody with IBS is like, I yeah. should after every time I have a snack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? 
seven and the one time uh seven was his highest month you know what i mean so most of them were that's four some. that's like once a week i might i might sh- I, I might shit 60 times a year solid i bet he shakes same same don't shakes. you get like excited whenever you're like this is a solid poop like wow okay hey like, what- no actually i get upset because i'm like well this is gonna take forever to fucking wipe and <laughs> like, that's why dude that's why i like that's why i like having the that's why i like having the shotgun shits man sit down. Done. yeah all done <laughs> like yeah you are one of the quickest poopers that uh dude, I've ever you know met. that guy shakes like... though right you know he shakes like he's a shaky person like a chihuahua <laughs> because that's why chihuahua shake because they hold their shit in <laughs> dude I hadn't shit in like 30 days. <laughs> so if he keeps track of it, you know he's taking pictures of him, right? I like how he has the clog oh, yeah. rate. Five in a month. That was a one they all clog. That was a hundred percent clog rate. Does he 100%. does he have a smell ratio? Does he say like, hey, this one was like a nine out of ten? You know what I mean? Like, must have been brewing for a minute. Oh, or a week. God, I just there's gotta how much blood ratio do you think? Ooh, I mean, oh. Yeah, bidet. You know, not gonna need a bidet. I bet you it's a fairly clean wipe after you know one shit a week. Whew. Did you know that they have bidets in Thailand to clean up the? They have bidets in Thailand. Apparently, Uh that's what. People know this about I mean, Milan, but in Thailand, most places will have a spray bidet or water instead of toilet paper. And I hear a lot of people complaining about this. They're like, oh, it's not as clean. It gets you like a thousand times cleaner than toilet paper. But there's also an added bonus. L- let me just show you, okay? It's a spray bidet, right? And this place also has toilet paper, but a lot of places will just have the bidet. But I just want to show you something for my friends who have clits. Oh my god. Did you, did you, every time I go to the bathroom, it's like a fucking party bonanza. Are we, did you, are we seeing this? Every time I pee, I'm in here for hours. Just, you know, just... Just you know, her eyes rolled back. In fun. Who the hell is complaining about this? Wh- who? This is my boyfriend now. It's one more for the road. Oh my! Oh my god! Jesus, bro, that thing had some power behind it. <laughs> like, right? That was no joke. That would have knocked her clit clean off of her vagina. <laughs> god, power wash your butthole. It is like... right. It's like on the vagina. Mm-hmm. I could spray away a hemorrhoid. Guaranteed. (laughs) (laughs) Just nine out of ten doctors recommend. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right. We got time for one more. Apparently, on a triple T, we always have some pretty good ideas, some ideas that we think are good, million dollar ideas. This is a skit about somebody who had a big idea, million dollar idea. Million dollar idea. You invent a spray that can instantly stop someone from being a jerk. You call it jerk off. That is the stupidest idea. Nah, ever nah, uh, don't make me spray my jerk off on you. You don't even have the product yet. What product? <laughs> 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 that shit's good. That's pretty good. Yeah, that one's pretty good. <sighs> water pressure. Water pressure, back. For, water the pressure for the wind. That's too high, man. That's. Hmm. Well, I have a I poop do... story, but I'm going to save it for the next one just because I think we've met the poop quota today. <laughs> yeah. There was a lot of poop. I'm not going to lie. Richie mentioned that he had a poop story, and I was like, this is going to be good. And then we started off with poop, went to poop. I was like, nah, it's enough poop for one episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll save it. I mean, do you want you want to save it for next week? I'll... Yeah, yeah, I'll okay. save it. Okay, we'll save it for next week. We'll do one more because I just want to make you and laugh one more time. Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I threw some of the massage. This is why 
why all my pallets fall the fuck apart once <laughs> I get them. I think that's why. Not that even connection apparently. <laughs> no, I mean it, it kind of lagged a little bit. I uh, apparently my internet is screwing up. It must know that it's uh, ten o'clock. <laughs> Fair enough. Are you ripping one right now? Are you cutting the cheese? No, I was moving my wallet because it was poking my butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, <laughs> that's all I got for you guys. That was fun. That was Triple T episode uh, four of season three. Can't thank everybody enough. We're going to be back next week. Same time, same place. But Thursday as well. Probably talking about uh, villains. I'll be talking about villains. Maybe there'll be a comeback and we'll talk about video game characters. I don't know. That's all I got. You guys anything else? Man, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna I'm gonna start early and and get my start getting my list ready. I'm nervous about my list. I don't think it's gonna be good. But hey, can't get any worse because I've been terrible on every list I've done so far. So maybe this will be the one that stinks a little less. So either way, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited for it, and uh, can't thank you guys enough. Anybody else got anything to say? Yeah, nothing. Nothing. All right. Well, uh, I don't know. Toby, Richie, I'm sure you guys will be. You know, on the on the on the seas thieving, and uh, you know, Richie's gonna be a billionaire soon, Mister Solo. And, and Yubin, you're just gonna be just no more falling. Okay, you look good, pixelated, by the way. On that note, he's gone. We're gone. See everybody next time.